you don't know where to begin, better ask when. Winston, good to see you. Today we tackle the age old question, should I pay off my mortgage early or invest? Let's say someone has a pile of cash sitting in the bank right now. Perhaps they're invested in a money market fund earning 5%. Let's talk through whether these safe returns have changed the conventional wisdom when it comes to paying off your mortgage. And first you say you need to ask yourself if you need the liquidity. Right, you know, it's, it's amazing how this time of year in Phoenix, Arizona, air conditioning units have a way of going out. And if you've got no cash in the bank when that happens, you're probably gonna get a credit card payment that's, you know, when you put that air conditioning thing on a, on a note, it's gonna cost you a lot more than that two and a half percent. So make sure you keep yourself liquid at an appropriate level. Right, always have that emergency fund. Good, good advice there. Next, determine how the returns compare. Compare the ROI of a mortgage paydown versus investing in the market. And the return on your debt paydown is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be whatever your mortgage rate is, but of course, Winston, that can vary right now. If people have anywhere from three to 8% mortgages, how does that change the equation? Yeah, you know, right now, if you have a 30 year fix or 15 year fix in the 2% rate on yeah. that mortgage, that's a very valuable mortgage that you have right there. I think most people would agree that they're not gonna be able to go out and get anywhere close to that. So um, it's, it's kind of worth keeping, especially if you have other needs pressing that are gonna cost you more money. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on down our list, ask yourself, what is my life stage? In other words, how long is your time horizon? Right, you know, people, um, you might have a house right now and you might be thinking, hey, I'm gonna pay this house off, but you know, I, I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna live in that house for the rest of my life. Other people say, geez, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably move out of state or do something different once I retire. And I'm only gonna live there for the next two to three years. Maybe you wanna hold on to that mortgage at that super low rate. It's a very valuable thing. Mm -hmm. And then last, of course, you need to consider the tax implications. Yes, the tax implications, uh, I'll, I'll be very frank with you. The question we get from a lot of people is, should I take money out of my 401k to pay off that mortgage? And, you know, uh, my first inclination would be say, no, don't do that because you're going to pay a lot of taxes right, to right. pay off that interest rate. And, uh, you know, that, that's something we probably stay away from. Mm -hmm. But of course, Winston, you know, the reason they're asking is because they think it will bring them peace of mind to pay off that mortgage, right? The spreadsheet may say one thing, but sleeping at night is an entirely different story. There is no far, there's no greater thing than having the peace of mind of having that yeah. mortgage paid off. Right. It kind of goes together like apple pie and uh, Chevrolet, right? It's just a, it's a wonderful thing when you retire to have that house paid off. And so if that's something that's kind of really weighing on you, something you're really concerned about, I'd I really encourage you to reach out and talk to us and let's take a look at your flight plan and see how we could put that, uh, put that question to bed. Yeah, absolutely. It warrants a conversation and crunching the numbers. So Winston, how can people get a hold of you? Well, two ways we have, you can give us a call at 602-456-1928. That's 602-456-1928 or reach us online at winstonandcompanies.com. You can find our calendar and schedule from there. Perfect. Winston, thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you, Aaron. Got a plan for your retirement because you know it's just down the road. But if you don't know where to begin, better ask when.